The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Big night yesterday at the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hello to everyone watching on the YouTube live stream where we are live Monday through Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific time. A lot of chatting going on, Lewis, a lot of exciting stuff going on in the YouTube live chat room. And of course, welcome everybody coming over from the We Survive Bush, You'll Survive Obama Facebook page. Excellent stuff, Lewis, from uh, people coming over from there. Indeed. Yep. All right. So let's start at the beginning. I actually am not sure that it was that great of an idea to have Sandra Fluke speak during the 10 o'clock primetime hour, 10 o'clock Eastern primetime hour of the Democratic National Convention. Now, not that I don't agree with anything Sandra Fluke said specifically, but on, on some level, I feel like why she became a national figure recently, a temporary national figure for, for the time being, because Rush Limbaugh attacked her. Now, I understand that the idea is the Democratic Party is not going to let Rush Limbaugh attack a woman by calling her a, a whore and a prostitute, whatever he said, and, and then just let it go unnoticed. They are making her front and center to show that the Democratic Party supports women, so on and so forth. I agree with that. At the same time, are you not giving Rush Limbaugh power by making someone whose only claim to fame is that Rush Limbaugh attacked her a keynote speaker during the prime time hour of day two of the Democratic National Convention. In other words, in some sense, it is giving Rush Limbaugh power. Uh, I know the argument would be, well, yeah, he used his power and now it's being used against him because right. she's speaking out against the Republican Party. But still, I, I still I, I don't know that that's really the best argument. Yeah. Uh, was the speech at all good or was it uh, was it a fluke? The speech was fine. The, the speech was fine. It was a fine speech. She said some things that, that were okay. And, you know, it was a good speech as far as, as, as uh, maintaining the importance of women's rights in this election. Yeah, I'm going to agree, though. I don't, I don't know if someone who just got attacked by Rush Limbaugh is a person you want uh, representing your party. What I do you disagree. think, Natan? Um, well, to your first point, I think that it's good to link um, Sandra Fluke to Rush Limbaugh because you're linking the Republican Party platform with a crazy nut. Okay. And I think that's good. But then secondly, I think it's good because the Democrats are basically saying, you know what, our prime time speaker at 10 o'clock before Elizabeth Warren and then before Bill Clinton is someone who's going to openly talk about these issues. The Democrats aren't going to back down about the social uh, regarding the social issues, and they're actually going to confront it head on. And I think that that was a message that they're sending to the Republicans. What do you think? Is, is, this the, is this a message being sent, a strong message by having Sandra Fluke speak there? Or is it a little bit uh, over the top to say Rush Limbaugh attacked you, poor you, you now get to speak prime time uh, at the Democratic National Convention? I can see both sides. I just wasn't that moved by having her there. I'm not saying the speech wasn't good. I just don't know that I put her front and center 10 p.m., two people before Bill Clinton. Yeah, I mean, you, you want someone who has, uh, what's the term? It's almost kind of like advertising. Like you, you want you want this person to to be someone who's a bit more prominent, I think. I think those are the people you should fill those slots with. I mean, it's kind of like the uh, the sob stories we got from random people uh, during the RNC, right? It, it, I think it's different it, in the sense that she had I mean, something legitimate right, to say right. that actually represented the values of the party. I'm, I'm not whereas... comparing their messages. Yeah. But... Okay. Fair yeah. enough. So what do you think about that? I don't know. 